Hey everyone, uh, Dr. D here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain how anaphase works. Anaphase is the fourth part of mitosis. Notice what's happened. Do you remember the sister chromatid pairs, how, th how they had lined up down the center of the cell uh, during metaphase? Well, do you remember that they were held together? The sisters were held together with cohesin proteins at the centromere. Well, those cohesin proteins break apart and the sister chromatids are released from one another. Okay, look what's happened. This sister chromatid has been released from its pair, from the other sister chromatid. And those sister chromatids are, are moving to opposite poles of the cell. Okay, so the important takeaway to anaphase is that, this is what you need to know, sister chromatids, sister chromatids separate from what? From one another. Sister chromatids separate from one another, right? Remember the sister chromatids were hanging out as a pair. During anaphase, the cohesin proteins holding them together let go, and the sisters move to opposite poles of the cell. That's the important thing you need to know about anaphase, okay, anaphase. And one more thing to understand about anaphase. The reason the sisters are moving apart, you know, it's not that they are being dragged apart. It's not that the centrosome is pulling the sisters apart. The sisters, the sister chromatids are actually moving themselves. They're moving themselves to the opposite poles. You know how? Do you remember the little kinetochore proteins on the side of the sister chromatids? the docking site for the microtubules. Well, inside of those kinetochore proteins are little motor molecules that walk along microtubules. So you have inside of the kinetochore a motor protein, and that motor is walking along the microtubules. So the, cent the, the uh, sister chromatids themselves make their way to the opposite poles of the cell interesting thing to understand. So again, anaphase, sister chromatids separate from one another. They then move themselves with motors inside of their kinetochores to opposite poles of the cell. And what you need to understand is that, remember, this sister is the same information as that sister. So are these, right? These are all the, the these pairs are all the same information. So what you should understand is the same information is headed to this new daughter cell as is headed to this new daughter cell. This cell is getting a dad's chromosome one. The other cell is also getting an exact same copy of dad's chromosome one. This cell is getting mom's chromosome one. The other cell is getting an exact copy of mom's chromosome one. So whatever genetic information is headed one way is also headed the other way. Okay, those are the things to understand about anaphase. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave them below, and thank you for watching.